So, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I have another MS Paint map, and, uh, yeah, I'm kind of speed-talking here because I found about 50% of people click off the video after the first 10 seconds, and I have something to tell you. So, before you click off the video or skip ahead, could you maybe just listen to this next part real quick? It's not about subscribing or anything else. For the two people out of the 40 that watch this video who don't know about this, I'll give you a quick overview of the situation. About Thursday, Thursday evening in the U.S. CST time, Russia invaded Ukraine. Now, this is, you know, not good. They claim that Ukraine attacked them first, but they didn't. It, it's just Russia being Russia. Anyway, um, I got a couple of DMs from people in Discord saying I should do, you know, like a simulation about this. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. And my reasoning for that is simply because I think it would just be degrading to have like a 16 year old sitting at his desktop make a little MS Paint map and put colors on it and claim that this is what would happen in like his mind. I just think that's stupid and even an insult to towards the people in Ukraine who are actually fighting and living through this war, especially in Kiev. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say for that. Um, yeah, just send hope and shit and uh, I don't know. I hope they're okay, you know? But yeah, that's about it. Sorry for that, you know, kind of negative note there. I don't know. But, um, I'm just gonna get into the video now. One thing I should tell you when this is starting is I also found something else out about in the analytics. About zero people watch this part of the video. And that's... I, I think that's totally fine. I'm just trying to make it more interesting. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas for stuff, just put it in the comments or stuff. But, uh, I don't know. Because I basically just commentate over an MS Paint map. It's, it's wonderful. I love it so much. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, as you can see on the screen, I'm kind of still setting it up and kind of dividing the northern half of Fallon into very different kind of countries as the Fallon Empire has collapsed, leaving only a few colonies in the desert and most of their territory in the north in complete disarray and just anarchy. Otherwise than that, every other nation is basically fine, except there's a ton of countries now in the north and most of the land that they had in the north as well just completely collapsed totally and all civilization up there has been destroyed. Gallon taking advantage of the situation and like taking some of the land. Now the nations up here are basically warlord states and just disarrayed kind of communities that will basically always be fighting each other. The empire of Ghana continues to expand in, in the north with Fallon trying to conquer some of its lost land in the desert regions. However, you know, I doubt they can do that because, like, it's a desert. <laughs> Not much you can colonize there. But anyway, a couple new nations have sprung up in the north, and the Empire of Ghana has continued to expand extremely much. Um, I tried to do something here with this line. I forgot what I was trying to do, though. I think I was just trying to make it look better, but I, I don't know. The Shanti taking also some more land, and Guaya taking more land as well. I can tell why people don't watch this. <laughs> but anyway, the um, the blue kind of warlord state up there continues to take land, as does the Orange Nation, which is the most powerful amongst all of them. However, the pink and the light turquoise, I think, nation continue to attack. The Guaya and the Fallon have also declared war on each other, uh, uh, each other, with the Fallon taking most of their coastal land, and the Guaya, instead of going after their main military in the south, taking their northern desert regions, cutting them off from their, you know, most of their northern regions, which had most of the um, minerals and resources they needed to produce their weapons. Now, mind, this is still basically in the medieval era. This is not kind of modern tanks or whatever. But yeah, the um, Fallon still live on, however, in the desert colonies, and they are diverting all the resources there, what's left of them, to expand. Um, the green and orange nations continue to expand with wars happening all over the place and the green nation taking some land the orange nation taking some land it's just really boring because this is back and forth the empire of ghana also continue to expand extreme amounts and a new accord has been agree agreed on the kingdom of shanti guaya and the empire of ghana have all agreed to divide those warlord states amongst themselves and then sent in their militaries to take them out in the east, some new nations have been discovered by the Empire of Ghana. Now, at first, it, they don't know much because they only have some ships sailing around and checking out the coast. However, with you know more trade and maps being discovered of the region, they realize that that country is a little much bigger, and there are many more over there. The 
Empire of Guaya and the Empire of Ghana also divided some more land up there because it was more ethnically uh, Ghana and yeah. Anyway, more nations have been discovered in the east. Um, these include uh, the kingdom of Pintico, Brina, and Hlectica. I don't know why I didn't age there, but I did. Uh, the Dukana also have expanded, and the Fallon in the south continue to expand throughout the desert and just, you know, make their land just bigger. I, I don't know. Also, a couple new states have been found in the midst of the desert, which are just in the midst of the desert. And, yeah, to be honest, and here's the part where everyone leaves when I say that's about it. With that word, I can control the entire video. I can have people leave and come whenever I want. For instance, if I say that's about it, and then pause like that, 90% of the people still watching just left, which was only three to begin with. But anyway, for the last person here, I have some special, um, I don't know, I may be doing an RP with this. It, it's out there now. Oh my god, it's amazing. But I may be doing one with this. Who knows? I don't know. I may be doing a different map with this. But yeah, this could be an announcement of another IP. This could just be me rambling on. I don't really know. But yeah, thank you a ton for watching and for, you you know, liking and commenting on the videos and stuff. And yeah, this is further than I ever thought I got with YouTube. And I'll try to keep doing it to the best of my ability. Um, Yeah, that's really about it. Send hope out to Ukraine. And that's really all I have for today. Slava Ukraine.